I've had three lives and they've all been good. I was a, uh, a nurturer. So I was involved with Noodle. And I also was involved with Nukes too. I was so lucky to be the first one. <laughs> You're so lucky to be the first woman scientist, yeah. My name is Natalie Carbone Mangini. I was born on August 24th, 1928. I was the first woman scientist who worked at Westinghouse. They got my resume and they thought I was a man. When they saw me sitting there in my gloves, my purse, and my hat, they said, oh my goodness, it's a woman. What are we going to do? Two days later, they called me up and they said, you have the job in radiochemistry. It was just, just, it was just an honor and it was, uh, it was wonderful to think that uh, I, I helped women. <laughs> if it ain't wrong, you're right. If it ain't dark, it's light. If you ain't sure, you might. It's gotta be uh, Well, actually, when I went to college, I got a Bachelor of Arts in Chemistry because they didn't have Bachelor of Sciences. I, I, had, I could have had a nice job in analytical chemistry, which I could have just breezed off with. And uh, I said, no, I wanted, I wanted the job in radiochemistry because I didn't know anything about it. And I liked the people that worked there, and I thought, this is where I'm going to stay. Uh, that's why I became a radiochemist because I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> What a blessing it would be if science could harness this vast atomic energy to generate electricity, to propel ships, to do the work of the world. Scientists are developing the world's first atomic power plant for ship propulsion. Well, we were working on reactors, and they were going to put a, the reactor in the Nautilus. Submarines before that had to come up every so often for air. With the nuclear submarine, you didn't need the air, and you, you could stay under, stay under water for a month, or whatever, whatever you needed. We worked on the Nautilus, and we worked on shipping port, which was the uh, of nuclear power to uh, make electricity. Oh, they were even trying to work on the airplane; it would be nuclear fired. But they are classified, and some are still classified. And I'm not sure what's been declassified, but. Uh, I always err on the side of caution. <laughs> when I was about 10, my mother got me a chemistry set. I burned holes in my mother's rugs and stuff like that, doing experiments and making things. Oh, there was one that you could uh, dissolve this powder and sprinkle it on the floor, and after it dried up, when you walked on it, it sparkled. And that's what started. And I, I always thought that I would be a chemist when I grew up. Uh -huh. I got a lot of fan mail. I was surprised. I got letters from people all over the, uh, the world. I even got a letter from a Nigerian prince. And uh, he wrote, to, and, and I answered him, and, uh, but nothing ever came from it. <laughs> so. Did you work as a waitress when you were working at Westinghouse? I worked as a waitress when I was working at Westinghouse. I would work, and actually I worked almost every night. Busiest hours were like from uh, in the early evenings until about eight or nine o'clock, and then I would work until about then. I think my main thing is I've always been satisfied with whatever I did. I never wanted other stuff. I mean, when I was a mother, I liked being a mother. When I'm a waitress, I like being a waitress. 
when I did radiochemistry, I liked doing radiochemistry. If, if you like what you're doing, it's not work. It's fun. And that's the way my life's been. Fun. <laughs> As long as I know where my next, next meal's coming up and my children are okay and everything's all right. I mean, you, you don't need all that other stuff. It's just extra bag ejection. You can be, and you can be happy. And I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you.